These 10 pro fails were pretty embarrassing. My name is Brayden and welcome to Valve Guides. Hello everybody, welcome back to Valve Guides. My name is Brayden. Today we will be going over some of the 10 biggest pro fails that we could scrounge up on the interwebs and some of them are quite embarrassing and pretty funny at the same time. Hope you guys enjoy and let's jump right into this video. Seize loses a 1 versus 0. Let's push this forward, he'll take this fight. He has to wait for the fire to go away. He has a kit, though, so he's got lots of time. He gets on it early, and he actually gets way too early. He timed that all wrong. <laughs> this is just a simple case of awful timing. Not something that I would have expected to see in a pro match of CSGO. And seized and managed to win a 1v1 in a 14-9 game in which Navi was winning, so they were winning 14-9. He won the firefight as a CT, and the enemy had managed to place the bomb down beforehand and threw a molly on it before he died. Seized had plenty of time to wait for the molly as he had a defuse kit and the bomb hadn't been down for very long. I don't know what went through his head, but Seized thought going for the defuse with the molly still down would work out for him. As you can see in the clip, he had more than enough time and it really didn't work out. Number 2, Cloud9 loses a 3 versus 0. This is pretty much the exact same thing as the first one, but <laughs> it actually happened to 3 people. During a match between Fnatic and Cloud9, Cloud9 had managed to lose a 3 versus 0 situation. In a last attempt to stop the defuse, Pronax threw a Molotov on the bomb. With little time left, Sean immediately began to defuse, but Sean thought he'd had a safe spot to defuse from without being killed by the Molotov, however it ended up killing him. Nothing and Skadoodle followed his death by anxiously jumping into the fire directly after. Sadly to say, none of them made it. All three Cloud9 members died and they lost the round. However, check out how calm they managed to stay after the incident. Summit 1G loses a 1 versus 0 to himself. I'm sure you all know who the streamer Summit 1G is and probably most of you know what I have to say about this fail. During the DreamHack Austin land, he was subbing for the pro team called Splice. On the first map of the Best of 3 series, Summit found himself the butt of a few jokes. Splice were up on match point and Summit just won a 1 versus 1 and all he needed to do was defuse the bomb. However, he ran through his own Molotov and he was busy celebrating his own success prematurely only to notice himself running straight through a Molotov that he had thrown himself mid-round. After losing that round and being put into an eco round, Splice wasn't really able to close out the map in overtime and they went on to lose the best of three. Although it was quite the mistake, I don't really think Splice is too mad at him according to this tweet. Liquid Gaming chokes match point versus LG in the Columbus Major. Oh man, this was horrifying to watch as I was going for Liquid when it happened, but I kinda gained a little more respect for Luminosity. During Team Liquid's first Major, they successfully managed to make it to the quarterfinals, in turn beating out Fnatic in overtime to get there. While playing on Mirage versus Luminosity, they scored 15 rounds. So this was match point. The score is 15 to 9, and it seemed like an easy map to close out. Out of freaking nowhere, Cold Zero made a historical play I'm sure you are all familiar with if you know anything about CSGO, stopping Liquid's momentum dead in its tracks. Yeah, and the first base is a trend. He's gonna hit the ground there. It's cold. Oh! Oh, it was unable to win a single round during regulation after that and lost the map in overtime after losing six consecutive map points. Liquid was then eliminated from the major and was sent home in a crumbling loss. Since then, Liquid has had this problem many times and has been unable to close out games, but that doesn't stop them from playing well until they get to 14 rounds. Kerrigan fails versus Kenny S planting and gets 360 no scoped. Now, there's not much to this fail. Kenny S was stuck in an awkward 2v1 situation on Cobble. Each enemy was defending each bomb site, and Kenny nearly pushed A but decided to go B. And when he pushed out with a smoke and a flash and started to plant the bomb, Kerrigan practically sat and watched Kenny start to plant it and had an op and ready to pick up an easy kill. However, Kerrigan decided to go for the USPS kill and he unloaded a full mag and didn't manage to kill Kenny. Did not have put that. He counts the second! Kenny S clutches the round! Being the beast that he is, Kenny used this fortune to pick up a 360 no scope. With Kerrigan now of the picture, Kenny picked up the final kill to win the round easily. That round should never have been won for him, at least not in the way that he did win it. Snacks Ninja Diffuse. During Katowice 2015, a match between Virtus Pro and FaZe was played on Mirage. FaZe was able to take control of A site and planted the bomb in a 5 versus 1 situation. As Snacks began saving for 
Terror's M4, the terrorists started to hunt him. Virtus Pro had a terrible economy after losing their first gun round, and FaZe did not want to allow them to save a rifle. FaZe was hunting him in B apartments, and Snax made his way along Cat into A site. FaZe made a huge mistake and had not left anyone on site. Snax simply walked in and began a 5 second defuse without a single FaZe member for quite a distance. He had no trouble winning the round for his team and in turn winning the map for VP. Valve anti-cheat waits for no man. Well, you know, it looks like ESCA just flexed on him. Nowhere does it for flex. In this classic case of what a grandpa would call an ah crap moment, the player flex from Team ESP was banned from ESEA during a match between GP and ESP. ESP's performance came as a big surprise during the game. They were winning 8-2 against a team that on paper should have blown them out of the park. A moment before the buy time ended, flex was suddenly banned and unsurprisingly, everyone in the server was shocked. The next round was played out slowly and while the end game chat scrolled with dot pause and the frequent LOL, it was pretty hilarious but also heartbreaking if you kind of were a fan of Flex. Emilio was banned live. Similar to the previous number, we have another VAC ban on our hands, may I say. Many say the VAC system isn't doing a good job, and maybe that's what this pro player thought when he decided to cheat. Unfortunately, it's good enough. During a match between HR and Team Property, the player Emilio was VAC banned. Without a single word in the chat, the casters made an attempt to transition to just sort out the event that had just unfolded. Sadly to say, Emilio did admit to using cheats in an interview in February 2015. Did Emilio just get vac banned? Now every other number on this list has been an in-game fail, so for this one I decided let's kinda throw something else in the mix and let's look at PTR failing a handshake during the end of an interview. This is quite an unfortunate event and you could argue that this wasn't his fault either and the person who completely ignored his handshake is to blame, but I mean come on. It's hard to play this type of thing off and PTR definitely did not manage to play it cool. Feels bad man. Last, but definitely not least, during the face at CSGO 2015 League games, quite a few mistakes were made, but one in particular stands out as quite the fail. During the game between Nip and Envious, Nip were setting up a standard A execute on Mirage, and Friedberg was in place to throw a smoke for stairs as well as a flash out of A ramp for his team. He was able to successfully throw a smoke for the stairs, but during his attempt to flash, he mistakenly clicked his right mouse button instead of the left and dropped the flash directly in front of his teammates. After accepting his mistake like a true man, Friedberg moved up to throw his nade into jungle and his teammate moved right in front of him and he threw it. The HE grenade hit his teammate and fell right into the middle of all of the three teammates and this wouldn't have been a huge issue, it was still pretty bad, but the split second before the grenade exploded, shocks from Envious dinged Forrest with an M4. The nade fell and his teammate was no more. Well that just about does it for this video guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did we miss any fails or did you think these were good? Let us know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. My name is Brayden, and I will see you guys in the next video.